guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever. I am low-key cold. It's like really, really cold. And my husband is playing video games in the room next door because his office is next to mine. So if you hear any major, weird, unexplainable sounds, it's not me, it's him. The other thing I want to tell you guys is Can you guys tell? We finally have merch! So this is my merch. This is my Makeup Savage. She's so cute. Let me zoom out and show you guys. So here she is. And my husband actually made this for me. So this is supposed to be me as a little savage. So I look like a little cave girl. I have a little outfit on and it says Makeup Savage. And the best part is on the back. It's another giant me. Let me show you guys. What do you think, y'all? So I just bought this as a sample to try it out and see what I thought. I, of course, own my friend's merch. So I have my Proud Makeup Lover mug from Amy. I have my Who Asked For This mug from Angie. I have Half Cousins podcast merch. I really want to buy Teresa's merch, but yeah, this was an idea me and him had for a long time. And I'd been promising you guys merch for a while, so we finally did it. and. I think this little girl looks really good on white. So I tried to do a lot of light colors. And I kind of like it on the back because I feel like it's a little less like in your face. But I did try to give you guys different options. So if there's any other colorways or styles you guys might want me to do, just shoot me a DM on Instagram and I can make that happen. But yeah, kind of excited. I'm excited to see what you guys think and this is my first time. I had some merch like that I had done, but my husband's like the designer of the family. So he actually created this for me on like whatever program he used. So just thought I'd plug myself and uh, I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to do Makeup Savage because... It's what I like to call you guys. So anyway, got my Tri Beauty Box. I'm so excited because I'd heard people talking about this brand, but I hadn't really looked into it. And then when Angie did her reveal video, she said it's a person of color owned and she likes to include women owned brands in her box. I thought that was really cool. I believe you can still get this at the time I'm filming this, so this is what the inside looks like. And I haven't opened this, so I've been waiting to film with this. Try Beauty Box X Angelica. And then it lists all the products in here. This is what the card looks like. I'm so excited for these eye masks. I need them so badly. So I was really excited that those were in there. I'm excited for these brushes. And then this is the pigment, the multi-chrome from Vixen Potion, I believe is what it says. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Adorable. And then we have the palette and the highlighter and the Jared Cosmetics product. So that's, it comes with peanuts. And I like the box, it's very cute, so. Thank you, Angie, and thank you, Tri Beauty Box, for sending me that PR. And of course, what kind of friend would I be if I didn't do a video with this palette and this box, showing you guys all the goodies that I believe you can still get a hold of. So I'm excited for this. This is the Makeup Geek Duo Chrome Highlighter Compact. And, ooh, this is the color. It's very pretty. I don't think I have anything like this. I don't know if it'll like be too dark or, ooh, it's pretty. Fun. 
so excited and I wanted to use the brushes too. So take the plastic off. But these look really good. They say Cleonade Cosmetics on the ferrule. Ooh, fun. So these are like eye brushes. And the handles are gorgeous. And then there's like this big beautiful powder brush, which is super cute. And then Jared Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mudslide. Ooh, yes. Love me a good mud slide color. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's like a brown. Angie nailed this. Ooh, it smells good too. Mmm, smells like chocolate. Exciting. And then the Glam Light palette, which I'm so excited for. Oh, shit. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay, one of my shimmer shades is shattered. I was not expecting that. Huh. Wow, we. That was crazy. Okay, give me a second. I'll clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I think we're doing okay. Okay, so I do like Glam Lights formula. And this is what the palette looks like. I still have a little bit of that shade still in the pan, so I'm not going to try and, like, tip it forward. But I feel like this is primarily, like, a neutrally pink palette. So I'm going to go into this blending type brush. I feel like pink will go really well with my pink sweater, so let's do that. I'm going to go into the shade Rosa. And I'm just going to throw that into the crease. So pigmented. Okay, I love how that applied and this brush is really soft. Now I wanna go into the shade Butterfly, which is like a cute corally pink and also place that in the crease. But I like to get pretty messy with how I blend in my crease. And then usually I like to deepen out my outer corner, but I'm going to try and keep it pretty simple today. And I kind of want to use either the shade Angelic or the shade Armor on my lid. I think I'm going to do Armor. Oh wow, that's so pretty. Maybe I can mix them. Do something different. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab this brush. Go into Armor first. Okay, now I'm adding the shade Angelic. I think this would do really well with a glitter glue, but I feel like I've already committed to these shades without it, so I'm gonna be a trooper. <laughs> I am making a mess. Armor has like a very super shock feeling um, texture to it, whereas Angelic feels like a press glitter, not really a press glitter, but a, a foil shadow. So I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to put some foundation on, do my bronzer and stuff, and then I'll be right back to show you the other products. Okay, guys, so we're kind of making our way through the video and I forgot to mention earlier but the palette the glam light palette is $28 and the Cleonade five piece stained glass brush set is $24.50 so that's an amazing deal and I did put some eyeliner on and I did my brows and I wanted to put some powder on so I've been trying to not use up but I've been using my Hourglass Veil Powder. What is this called? Translucent Setting Powder. And I thought it would be fun to use this brush. 
to put that on and I also put my bronzer on so that felt really nice and then I think I'm gonna try the Makeup Geek product which is the Makeup Geek highlight which is $14.99 and this is the shade Ablaze it says it's a duochrome highlighter I think I'm gonna try it as a blush highlighter combo so I'm just gonna use my blush brush which usually has like other blushes on there as well but oh that's pretty I think it will be too dark it's just like my highlighter but you guys know I love like a glowy blush so I think I like how that looks right there very much and then I want to do the lower lash line so I'm gonna go back into the palette and there is a really nice short like flat blending slash shader brush I'm gonna go into the shade fearless which is like a pretty dark purple and I'm just gonna press that into my lower lash line and just kind of try to blend same on this side oh I really like that and then I'm gonna take just like a wet and wild brush and take the shade heavenly and just throw that on the brow bone love and then I'm gonna take a pencil brush and again go into the shade angelic and just throw that press that into the inner corner just to give it like a very glittery look and then I think I've used everything I'm not gonna use the what is it called the pigment right now just cuz I don't really want to get into that but I'm gonna put on the lippy and I'm excited because I remember when I first started watching YouTube, Jared Cosmetics, and, and their mom was promoting them, especially Jaclyn Hill. And when she did her collab with them, I really wanted to buy. Mine was a little runny, so it got a little wild over here. But I think once it dries down, it'll be great. And I really like this color so, so much. Such a great color for like December, this time of year, fall. Even though it's technically spring, it's still cold where I live. So it just reminds me of like hot cocoa. And it has, a, it smells like wax burning. I like it. It's very nice and like hot chocolate and fireplace type vibes. So I think this is like my favorite thing actually from the box just because it's such a great color. So I'm going to put some mascara on, put some more highlighter on, and I'll be right back to show you the final look. Okay, guys, so here is the final look. I did add a bit of a gloss just to liven up my lip. I felt like my face looked so matte. And I added the ABH Amrezy highlighter, just trying to show that highlighter some love because I do have it in my collection. So overall, my thoughts on this curation, I think it's wonderful. I think Angie did an amazing job. I love that they have a tan, deep, medium skin tone option as well as a light skin option. I was so excited to try this Makeup Geek highlighter out. I know Makeup Geek is going through a rebranding, so I think being able to try out some of their products will give me an idea of if, if I wanna try out more products for them in the future. Obviously, I didn't get to try these eye patches, but I'm really, really excited because I have been trying to find good eye patch, like eye patch, what are these even called? Eye mask brand, so I'm very, very curious about those. The eyeshadow palette, I'm a little bit bummed because that shade like is completely shattered, but typically I do like the Glam Light formula, so very happy I got to try that out and I love these brushes I think this is I don't know I was going back and forth between the lippy and the brushes I think 
If I had to rank, I would rank the brushes number one, the highlighter number two, the lipstick number three, eyeshadow palette number four, and then the pigment, because I haven't tried it, I guess it would default to five, and of course I haven't tried the eye patches either, but this is so fun. I love me some brushes, and it's from a brand I love, so I'm just so excited that I got a chance to try this, and I may um, consider popping on the Tribe Beauty subscription. I'm a little wary of subscriptions because I did do them in the past when I first got on YouTube and I just thought they were such a fun idea but I did BoxyCharm and I felt like I was getting a lot of stuff that I didn't really want. Um, Ipsy I don't really enjoy because it's samples and I just it's too overwhelming and my favorite subscription honestly is BarkBox. I get so much joy from having that subscription because my dogs love their bark box and so this was really fun to be able to try this out and I'm very thankful to Angie and Tribe Beauty sending this box my way and let me know if you guys tried this box down in the comment section I'd be so interested to hear what your guys' thoughts were and yeah I'll leave a link to the little merch girl down in my description box as well if you guys want to check out my Makeup Savage merch and I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye!